Well, there's a period there for two or three years when my next guest, well, if she didn't have bad luck, she wouldn't have had any luck whatsoever. It's good to see her these days up and about smiling and also training winners. I caught up with Karen Crouch to have a chat about her career. Well, Karen, good to see that smile back. But as I said, gee, there was a period there for three years where you were walking under a ladder with holding a black cat. Yeah, thanks, Mick. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm pretty lucky, really. A um, bit of bad luck early on and um, car accident and then got kicked in the face by a horse. So someone was obviously looking down for, down for me. So, yeah, lucky to be here. It was a high-profile car crash, Karen, going back to 2018 because on board was Tiger Tara and a couple of other horses. Yeah, that's right, Mick. Um, Kevin and I were on our way to Bankstown um, to work Tiger. Uh, we had a couple of other horses on the float as well. And just uh, like two minutes from Kevin's property, um, a car pulled out in front of us. Um, the vehicle um, hit Kevin's driver's door. Uh, we jackknived. Um, the float gooseneck had snapped off the there. float. Um, complete, the car had completely spun around. Um, all the horses were the on the ground. Um, and yeah, everything. Cool was luckily we all got out of it Tiger Tara a few months later come out and won the Vic Cup and then come out and won the Inner Dominion so I think uh, he was getting looked after as well yeah you were pretty battered and bruised after that yeah I was in hospital for a week a um, few broken ribs um, had a bit of a gash on my head um, couldn't do anything for myself uh, very hard to uh, couldn't breathe because I had I think four broken ribs at the time and I had a bit of a head injury so I couldn't um, stand up like I had to sort of I'd sort of stand up for a minute and then I had to sit back down like I was going to collapse uh, long recovery um, big thanks to my sister she took me in um, fed me and looked after me for a few months because I couldn't eat uh, so I couldn't cook couldn't clean myself couldn't dress myself couldn't do anything so um, lucky for family that they um, you know, gave me a hand so yeah and when you look at those scenes Karen it was lucky no one was injured a lot worse or a fatality involved yeah that's exactly right we were actually really lucky like you know the, the state the vehicle was in and if I was in the back seat or anyone else was in the back seat you know like they wouldn't have survived the, the accident and, and in that day too like I don't normally go to the track I normally um, stay at home and do the joggers and do the work at home and at the time Kevin normally takes his daughter to the track with him and gives him a hand at the track but that particular day my horse was going to do fast work and she's one of those that didn't like to do anything on her own so I had to go and drive her in track work so it was pretty um, you know for me like you know I wasn't supposed to be in the vehicle but for Courtney, lucky for her, she she missed it. She got to stay home that day. So, yeah, we're all pretty pretty lucky, really. Two years later, you're up and about, feeling good about yourself once again. And then another serious accident when you were kicked in the face. Yeah, I actually don't recall what um, happened. You know, God was looking down on me that day because I'm normally there, as I said earlier, on my own. This particular day, Kevin was um, still there. He hadn't gone to the track. Um, Kevin witnessed the whole accident. I didn't. Act, I don't recall it to this day. I don't recall it. Um, but apparently, there was a horse on the jogger machine um, getting ready to go and get worked. She'd just come back from a spell. Luckily, she had no shoes on. Um, I had happened to walk past her and she was fighting with the horse beside her and the mare um, cow kicked and lashed out and just happened to get me on my face. Um, she hit me there like that, um, knocked me flying. I was unconscious for seven hours, um, lost two teeth in at the front, um, lost half my lip, had to have plastic surgery and um, pretty bad head injury, three broken ribs again. Um, but luckily I've, I'm tough, I fight hard and I'm standing here today. I like to own a horse as tough and as resilient as that. So hopefully, Karen, all the bad luck's behind us. You've been able to smile lately. You've been back training and back training successfully with Blazing Shannon. Yeah, I had trouble getting my licence back because of medical reasons. Um, you know, I still had a bit of a head injury. Um, 
I've had the bug, like I had to get another horse, like I've trained winners before and I just needed to get that horse on my own. So I just patiently waited and waited and luckily um, Blazing Shannon was advertised for sale. Um, I liked the look of him, just like, okay, let's go, this is a lottery. And lucky enough, um, yeah, I won three in a row with him and um, he's paid his way and he's been really honest, so lovely to have him in the stable. It must have been a good feeling. It was fantastic. The first one was good, the second one was better, and the third one was just amazing because I had a 100% strike rate, so it was fantastic. Yeah. And you've trained over 70 winners prior? Yeah, um, early on um, Kevin had a bit of um, bad luck and um, I took over the stable um, and yeah, I had I think seven, 70 something winners. Uh, Lauren Tritton at the time was driving for me, we had a bit of success and um, it was great, yeah it was great but then as soon as Kevin come back um, he took the reins back over and so now I just um, follow him and he's my boss and I am do, do what I'm told. Yeah, how long have you been with Kevin now as the stable four person? I've been there for 12 years now, going on 13 years, and um, yeah, it's I love every minute of it. I love the horses, I love the sort of quality of horses we have, and um, especially Tiger Tara, having a horse like him in the stables was just like unbelievable, and now to have his young young ones come along is, um, is great. And it's good to see they've got talent. And you've got a youngster by Tiger Tara. Yeah, I had a mare uh, a couple of years ago, Courageous Becky, um, that I used to race. And um, she, he's, she had a little a foal. I got a colt, Yearling. Um, he's working up good. Um, and um, hopefully he's my next um, up-and-coming star. He's standing at uh, Madawi Lodge, Tiger Tara. But what was he like to be around on a day-to-day -day basis, Karen? Honestly, Mick, he was one of the best horses you could ever work with. You know, he was a colt. You wouldn't know he was a colt. He was an absolute gentleman. And race day, he knew it was race day. He knew soon he was get, getting cleaned up. He was getting on that float. He knew where he was off, off to. You know, he was just an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. It's remarkable, Karen. Horses of his nature, those champions... They know what it's all about, don't they? Yeah, yeah, he, he was a champion, you know. Like, I, it's a shame Kevin didn't get him earlier on because I tell you, he would have just broke, you know, that many records and done a lot more, but he didn't get him um, get him till later in his life. But, um, no, he was honest, he was tough, you know, you could do anything with him. And, you know, and now looking at the progeny that he's throwing, like his first foal um, was actually ironic. He was born on my dad's birthday, um, King Tiger. He's actually racing later on today. Like he's just Tiger the second, you know, he's just got the same nature. He's a colt, you wouldn't know he's a colt, um, and just tough as nails. Like the longer they go, the lot, the further he'll go. Well, Karen, continued good luck. Yeah. Uh, great to see you up and about, and hopefully smiling now always. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me, Mick. Thank you.